Hello guys, I'm Jigo for here, and today I have a uh, redstone sequencer, I'm going to call it. Um, and it can pretty much just, what it does is it goes from, it lights up the lamp from here, and then it shows you what its progress is, so it's kind of like a progress bar. Then it'll go up to here, and then it'll give you an output once it's at the end of the line. So, this could go up to 15 lamps long, right now I have it at 10, and that's because of the piston uh, pushing limit. It is 15, right? Whatever the piston pushing limit is, I'm derping right now. Indeed, I am derping right now. So, how does this work? Right behind here, I have an RS Norlash. Now, it's um, single wide and it's tileable. So, you could just put this, fi um, whatever the piston limit is, long. Um, or you could even, you could use the RS Norlash as long as you want. But for this design, you can only put it, whatever the piston limit is, long. And I can't believe I don't know that. So, anyways, how this works, it has just this stack of um, blocks that are affected by gravity. Um, I'm pretty sure you can only use these two. I might be derping again. But whatever, I'll just show you it working. So right here, I just have your basic um, repeater timer. You can use whatever you want. It could be a hopper timer, any timer you want, right here, cobweb timer, whatever. So you can see here, every time this timer goes off, it pulses this piston here and that'll move one of these blocks and that'll um, move the progress bar up to the end so how so you could just see it right here I have a torch here powering all these repeaters and once the block moves up to one of the um, unoccupied spaces the repeater shoves the signal into there and then it gets pulled out by one of these other repeaters and since redstone doesn't transfer f through air, it needs a block through that, and that's how this works, and the whole progress bar works. Um, so this RS Norlatch behind is not my design. I'll put the link for it in the description, but you can pretty simply see how it's made. There's just five blocks here, piston, two repeaters, and a torch. Now this piston right here is a sticky piston, um, as you can see. Um, so yeah, right at the end here, I just have the output going into some blocks and then that's powering the lamps giving us the progress bar now you could just put the output to whatever you want but just for this um, example I have it going into this thingy right here uh, so yeah so once it's done the output is right here and so this will power this block and then it'll get stuck out like that and it'll go into the command block so I think that's about it so thank you very much for watching, and see you guys next time.